Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woken. I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. What are we doing today? Well, by the title of the video, I'm going to talk about my specific plans trying to figure out how to... Trying to NP5 Kakula Khan, which should be showing up in about a year, um, on an A side. Uh, probably a little bit earlier, so maybe less than a year's time. And the, I'm going to talk about all the preparations that I've kind of tried to do, and also just talking about trying to MP5 units in general. So that's going to be today's video. Uh, before we get into it, I should say, because this is about the third time that I've tried to record this, but I want to, and both times I forgot to mention this at the start, you should really probably not be going for MP5 for most for most units um it is a thing that you only do if you actually super care about the units and it's also a thing you should only do if you have the means and you understand that like yo um i can spare some the money aside from this and it's not going to break my bank i've definitely had to be in, in a situation where it gotcha i chose to uh roll in a gotcha as opposed to try and have enough money to eat a sandwich and let me tell you i have regretted it i don't i don't i don't play like that anymore i always make sure that absolutely everything is in order that everything will be okay if i leave it the way it is and i think that's the way that you should go about this so before i go into talking about the deeper mp5 stuff i want to start that at the start and never feel pressured to do anything and if you are going to go for a unit i think for most cases unless it's a very specific case with a unit an mp1 is perfectly fine and you should be satisfied and happy with that you should be able to do most things in the game with just an mp uh an mp1 now after i've given that disclaimer <laughs> I also have to give another one. There will probably be slight spoilers to future stuff. If you're someone who's been keeping ahead of the game, trying not to get any anything spoiled for you, this is your chance to kind of get off of the video. I understand that most people click on a video talking about a future unit and understand, like, yo, they're going to be talking about, like, units in the future. Obviously, there's going to be spoilers in here, but for some people, they don't know that. So I'm telling them this now so they can get off the video and boom. There you go. Even though I'm not going to be talking about anything story specific, who knows? I will be showing off certain things that you can't ignore. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah. Currently, the month is in February. As of me recording this, it's the sixth, and by the time that the banner for Kukula Khan comes out, it will be at the end of somewhere in february it says february 7th but because of na and the way that we do kind of stuff i wouldn't be surprised if she's actually closer to the end of january start of early february as opposed to just straight up february 7th and the same thing kind of goes for tesla pika i would probably expect them mm, just a little bit somewhere close to the end of january not exactly at the end of january which is on the 31st um and yeah Kakula Khan. I am going to be attempting to go for NP5. I think I currently have it allowed that I have the amount of sync quartz that I need to have in mind. But before that, before I did anything, I consulted a friend who is much better at math than me. It's Lerp. Um, Lerp in the past, if you have been a big follower of my channel, especially for the Dragalia stuff. Uh, Dragalia, uh, Dragalia. Lerp used to be a, um, someone who played Fago. He's actually the person who got me to start playing Fago way back in the day. He doesn't play anymore, um, mainly because he's found other things to play, but he still keeps up with some of the things that they do. Um, and in the past, he used to have a bunch of, he would actually constantly go for MP5 servants. Uh, famously, he's the friend of mine who I always talk about how when it was Valentine's Day, he was trying to go for MP5 of Setonia and um he lost a 50 50 to murasaki shikabu every single time five times in a row and so he ended up getting an mp5 murasaki shikabu with an mp0 setonia he lost every single bit of the coin toss on that one but he's also gotten an mp5s of a bunch of other units like kama and um Ilya and a couple other units as well from what i can know so he has a lot of experience with the funky numbers that comes with Fago, but also his specific job has to deal with math so he's very good with math so when i asked him this he gave me this formula which i don't understand at all because i'm not good with math but he basically i told him specifically how much sync quartz do you think we would take to get to about a 50 percent range um i don't want to look for a 99 percent range because it's actually never a hundred percent possible to get an mp5 it's 100 percent possible to get mp1 everyone knows that because of pity it would take around um 
900 sand quartz to guarantee the unit. Um, assuming that you just got absolutely nothing. That means that at 900 sand quartz, you're guaranteed them no matter what. Uh, that being said, it's usually thought about around 300 something. You have about a 50% chance of getting an MP1 copy of an SSR that is featured. Um, whether or not you hit that, that's all up to a lot of different forms of variance. So yeah, this is the formula that he gave me. And the ending amount for 50%, uh, how much quartz would it take for a 50% chance? It would take about 1,299 is what he would assume is the average. That's what, again, he's assuming because it's probability. And a lot of the probability, it could be less, it could be more. You can't know for sure with probability. And a lot of stuff when it comes to working on probability, you just don't know, which is really tough when you're working on a frame that just doesn't have a 100% guaranteed for you at all. Um, but that's around the amount he would assume is the average that most people have a 50% chance of getting the uh, SSR in question to MP5. So I decided that my starting amount quartz would be 2,000. And then I crunched the numbers and I hit the summon simulator to say, okay, well, assuming I had zero quartz, how much would this cost me to have around 2,000 something sand quartz? And the number it gave back to me was $960. Um, and this is, again, for a slightly higher than 50% chance. <laughs> to get an mp5 and still not guaranteed uh to be fair to me at least i've tried to do a lot of different summon simulators to see hey how often did i get to mp5 with around 2000 and it's usually been around 2000 one time it took around 300 say quartz and i was like that's great i wish i could do that in real life but you again <laughs> very hard to actually do in real life it's just a, a way to look at numbers and be like make me feel more satisfied with my decisions so either way i'm pretty satisfied with the idea of it taking around uh 2000 um 2000 is also about the level i would go for anything so once i saw the amount i decided to say okay well how much would it take to so how much saving would i need to do and basically i would need to not only save a lot of the same quartz that i got here i can't summon any more than i already have planned and if anything i also need some of these summons to end in a single multi and so i can be saved just a little bit <laughs> <laughs> on having to use a lot of these sync quartz it does not look good in terms of using the uh sync quartz that the game gives you at best i can only hope for it to be like a, a cushion for the things that i'm doing and that's about it um so afterwards then i said okay well let me look so the other thing that's kind of a problem here is that not only do i want kakula khan i also do want tesla pika who is right before her and Tesla Pika, I'm happy with just getting an MP1. And like I said, around the variance that it would expect an MP1 would be around 350 St. Quartz or so. Um, and then you add in the fact that if you actually wanted to guarantee it and go until you actually got them, it'd be around 900 St. Quartz. Um, so I then decided to go looking and say, hey, what time th these units come back in, in this year? So what what does their banner look like then so for kakula khan one two three four five six she comes back in june as a part of paper moon um you can see here she is in summoning campaign she's in uh not in exactly paper moon i guess paper moon pre-release <laughs> excuse me she is right here along with uh nido alter and uh tenochi Colin over here they all come back here. Uh, the problem is, is that Durga is right after, and I do want to kind of summon for Durga. And then the other problem is, is that exactly the next month, anniversary starts. So very bad timing all around. And then an exact month after that, if you're wondering where Tez shows up, Tez shows up during summer. And summer this on the, for this year of their release is going to be the Lost Belt 6 summer, and there's just no way um that i'm not <laughs> that i'm not going to be crazy summoning for them so tez is also in a very very bad spot i would need to do insane with both of these in order to get a night get a chance at tez over here 
um, which is not great. Very bad. So really, realistically, my best bet at them is to get them in both in end of January, early February. So that would be on their initial banner. And once I have NP1 of Tez, I'm perfectly fine. And once I have her, I'm also perfectly fine. I could look at the GSSR and see if how their guaranteed banners are looking like. But in general, um, I really just want to try and get them on their banner. Like, I can look at the GSSR real quick just to see, like, hey, is there... Uh, I do have the Destiny of Order, but even then, that's not 100... <laughs> I can build a perfect-looking thing, but it's still not going to be exactly what I would want it to be. Um, we can look at the Lucky Bag. Let's see the Lucky Bag summoning campaign, see how... See, this one divides by male and female, so if I wanted to look at Tez... Oh, Tez's banner is really good, though. I didn't realize that Tez shared it with... Um... Takatsuji and Rasputin. Huh. I mean, that might be a banner I just summon on regardless. But also, let me look at female just to see how female. So, Kukukukan shares it with Medusa, Durga. No, I'm looking at the wrong one. I'm dumb. Uh, she shares it with Brittle Mart, uh, Senu, Rikyu, and uh, Juan Zhou. So, not bad. But honestly, I would probably want to go for the male one if I was looking at this right. Um, hmm, interesting. Something to think about for forward, at least for Tez. Maybe I can hold off on Tez and go for the one in three chance. I'll see. I'll, I'll look into it. Maybe that requires a little bit of future planning. I'll see how bad it looks like. Uh, after, basically, after summer is when I'll actually do, like, another check-in to see how it goes. But the way it gets going currently, I think I should be able to get enough of it. The way I have it planned is that obviously, when it comes to sync quartz that are flowing through the game, I can't summon any more than I've already allowed it for myself. And if anything, I have to probably cut down on some of the banners that I was on 0 to 2 one. Like, some banners I have an idea of, like, maybe I'll give it a multi or two, or maybe just none. I think I have to choose for the none one just to save even just a little bit of quartz to help with the ultimate funding of this. And the other thing that I have to do is that I, if I realistically bought the best pack every month at least one time during the month i should be able to do it um the price of a full pack is basically the same cost of buying a special edition of a video game because video games are really fucking expensive now um i say after buying like a dragon which i think mine ended up coming to around 80 something uh persona 3 persona 3 was uh 60 bucks right 70 bucks yeah and then add ten dollars onto that and then that's basically the price of it the problem is, is that when i do that at least i'm getting a video game that i own <laughs> and it's i would much rather be doing that than doing this but if i realistically go here and i already have everything planned so i know for a fact that i'll be able to pay the bills that i need to pay for the month and that always comes first when it comes to this and assuming that my work stays as busy as it has been after the the protests ended um, from the actor strike, it's been much better, so I can at least say, like, for certain that I should be able to do this at least once a month, um, and cut back on a lot of the spending of my actual video games, because I still need to beat a lot of the ones from 2023, and I'm still gonna be buying some from 2024. Listen, I got this figured out, I think. <laughs> I think it can work out, because if I start from this month, and you go all the way to this month, to the start of February, that's 12, exactly. And that should be enough to get the full 2,000 um, at the ultimate price. Because the ultimate price of um, the top bundle gives you 167 quarts. So if I buy that 12 times, that should be more than enough. Uh, pretty sure, anyway. Uh, let me pull out the calculator. I doubt, I, just to be double sure on this, uh, times 12... Yeah, that comes out to 2004. So yes, that should be enough to get what I need. And yeah, that's stuff I'm setting aside, and I'm going to have to be building towards that, and I think I'm just going to have to do it that way. Some other things that will actually be kind of nice is that thanks to the channel, I am able to get some money occasionally back from the channel. So that does also motivate me to do more to the channel, and I have to say it's a big shout-out to a lot of people who watch me that I, in the past I would not have been able to do this. But because of a lot of people coming to the channel now, it does help me kind of plan out for some of this stuff and be like, all right, 
even though I never plan to do this again, <laughs> unless they release a Summer Quetz or a Summer Kukulikon, I will never go chasing another MP5 unit again. I'm so good with MP1 and I don't want to deal with this ever again. I actually can't understand whales. I'm actually would be very curious to hear how many people have it set out from the beginning that they're going to go for NP copies and more because I'm definitely someone who's like, I just need one man and I'm super satisfied. It's only if I super care about the unit, do I want more copies of them? And obviously if I get more copies of them, I'm pretty happy about it. And maybe sometimes I'll go toward the GSSR if it has that unit and I'll be like, oh, I, I would like another copy of that. But in terms of their banner, I very rarely ever go for more copies of them than needed. Um, I, and I've definitely read from plenty of people who have commented over the past couple of months of people who have it in their mind set to kind of go for that much. So I would be very curious to hear from it. Like, I'm, but again, for the most part, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with just going for MP1. It must be so infuriating to be a whale in this game and kind of go for it. And even though I'm talking about, like, it's funny because I talk about, like, spending all this money and I still don't really feel like a whale. Because this is me planning it for something, a one-time thing in a year. And this is the first time I've done it in the entire history of the game. When there's actual legitimate whales who do this maybe every banner. And I just can't, I can't imagine it. It, it literally boggles my mind. <laughs> like, as I was doing all this and putting this all together, it, it's taking every bit of me to be like, do I really want to do this? And I said, it's fine, I guess I can do it for the channel and I can justify it that way and figure that stuff out but it definitely is a, like a a constant battle within myself to just be like i don't want to do this <laughs> but at the same time i look at kukulikon and i look like oh man i would be so happy with mp5 and the funny thing is is that if i actually wanted to get absolutely every single one of her skills without any of the bonding i would actually need an mp6 <laughs> so i would still need one more copy of uh, of her, which I'll figure that out later. <laughs> Hopefully she gets another banner in 2024 that I can try for again. Or maybe she gets a part of, uh, maybe I do add her into the pick a, um, a pick a one. But yeah, it's something that I have to figure out and figure out. This, uh, this year that she releases, it is not a easy year at all. This is a, this is such a horror, horrifying year for everything. Because not only do we have this, we have, um, I can at least say, like, oh, I, I can maybe hold back on spending on him for a bit. We have Lily and we have Tiamat coming as well. And the Nero that they made for this, the Beast Nero, is super crazy limited. She's not even on GSSRs except for the Choose Your GSSR. So... I asked, I also have to figure out a way to get her immediately. <laughs> It is, uh, this is going to be a rough year to plan ahead. I can understand why so many people are maybe not summoning that much on this year and are saving it all for next year. Because next year, oh my god, it is a nightmare. It is an absolute nightmare trying to figure it out and even looking at it from afar. It's terrifying. It is absolutely terrifying to look at. <sighs> but that's the end of this video. I just wanted to talk about it, give my kind of ideas about it. I like kind of putting out my plans up forth. I'm definitely someone who likes to plan out their stuff. And I wish I had actually... Mm, again, if they ever announce the summer and a summer version of Quetz or for Kukula Khan, especially for this year, I think I have to start saving for them immediately on, the, on that exact spot. Like, I have to, after Summer Ibuki, I have to figure out my tickets and be like, okay, this is another saving until the end of time kind of thing. It's a lot of kind of thought to kind of be putting into this kind of stuff and figuring it out. And it can all just completely get undone and get completely screwed up <laughs> at any given notice. But yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Wish me luck on this one. I wish a lot of people a lot of the luck on their summons. I'm really wishing for good luck on this one. <laughs> Your boy does not want to summon more than what is necessary. It is an insane amount of stuff. And again, we'll see how life is looking around that time. Because who knows? Anything could happen within the year that I'm planning this. Maybe things go super crazy good and I'm making so much baller money that I'm just like, you know what? MP5 both of them on this year just to show to pure dominance. But I really doubt anything like that. I could The opposite could happen. I could lose absolutely everything. <laughs> 
<laughs> who knows uh, I've definitely had the ups and downs in life <laughs> Actually, back in the back in the old days, uh, when Fago was starting, when Fago started, I had planned out for um, Iskandar. I had been like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna summon for Iskandar. I have all this idea. I have all this. I'm gonna save so much money. I'm gonna use this on this." And then on that year specifically, um, we dealt with losing the house at the time that we had, and I said, "Okay." Well, there goes all the ideas I had for doing that. Here it is. There goes all the ideas of doing any of that. I'm not doing that. I would never... Not when we need money for so many things. And then I did a multi at my uncle's place while going for it, going, ah, I guess I got a multi saved up. I'm going to try. And I got him first multi, and it was like the happiest I had been at that exact point in time. <laughs> but it was definitely a case of just like, the, the worst happened. I'm not going to be funding any more of this. I can't justify it. I will refuse to do any of that. And I got rewarded by it, by doing a single multi on Iskandar. And then the Fago devs punished me by never buffing Iskandar. So, <laughs> funny, funny happenstances. But anyway, I've been talking for too long. That's the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. See you later. Bye-bye.